Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, coming up on this week's episode. Sierra Space provides content to EAA Aero Educate. Textron sells first foreign military multi-engine trainers. Sporties acquires pilot workshops. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, a weekly program dedicated to future aviators and aviation professionals. Airborne Flight Training is brought to you in part by King Schools. King Schools has been leading the effort in producing expert aviation training programs and computer-based learning software for over 50 years. Find out why pilots love King Teaching at kingschools.com. Now let's get into today's stories. Sierra Space provides content for EAA AeroEducate. Sierra Space is becoming the newest content provider for EAA AeroEducate online resource and will be adding space-related content to its already strong offerings. The agreement with Sierra Space gives EAA Aero Educate a true space-oriented subject matter expert to help create new space-focused activities for the K-12 students and their teachers who use the platform. In the future, the company will develop youth space-related awards under the Aero Educate Achievement Badge program. Rick Larson, EAA's VP of Communities and Member Programs, explained, quote, Aero Educate is designed to be an ever-evolving resource for young people who want to discover more about aviation, aerospace, and the sciences involved in them. The content provided by Sierra Space expands the offerings that young people, as well as their parents and teachers, are seeking as they explore the possibilities in all of those areas." End quote. EAA launched Aero Educate in 2022 as a free aviation education program created in partnership with other companies and organizations around the world. It offers unique content for kids in grades K-12 through and uses a badging system to track progress of individuals as they complete each grade level. Parents and teachers can also create an account to access the program's catalog of educational group activities for the classroom or home use. After the break, Lufthansa's Vienna Dreamliner Sim operational. Direct Fly USA proudly introduces the new Alto NG, a single engine, two seat light sport aircraft for the North American market. This simple, all-metal aircraft design provides low-maintenance cost, easy, comfortable access, and responsive flight controls. Equipped with a Rotax 912 engine and a ballistic parachute, the Alto NG is reliable and safe. Learn more about the Alto NG at directflyusa.com. For over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Lufthansa's Vienna Dreamliner Sim operational. Lufthansa Aviation Training has put its Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner full flight sim into service at its Vienna location to complement the sim fleet with its first long haul model at this location. The operation of this unit expands LAT's offerings of state-of-the-art simulators in Austria, while also bolstering pilot training for Austrian airlines with the latest sim technology. The Dreamliner simulator is one of CAE's 7000XR series that meets the highest Level D certification standards and provides realistic training for all flight conditions of the Boeing 787-9. Federal workers offered incentive to quit, but not ATC. The Trump administration's attempt at downsizing the federal workforce has run into a problem. Some jobs actually need to be done. The administration clarified that air traffic controllers and other public safety employees are exempt from its new Deferred Resignation Program. The offer gives federal workers a chance to stay on payroll until September 30th without having to work. The Office of Personnel Management updated its guidance to clarify that public safety positions, as well as national security and immigration enforcement jobs, don't qualify for this grand paid vacation. NBAA Leadership Conference Scholarship Recipients Announced NBAA announced the three recipients of its 2025 Leadership Conference Scholarship, selected by the Association's Business Aviation Management Committee. The scholarship covers the cost of registration for attendance at the 2025 NBAA Leadership Conference. The recipients of the 2025 scholarships are Alyssa Bork, Quality Assurance Manager at Advanced Helicopter Services in Woodland, California, 
Matthew Olafson, Captain at Johnsonville Flight Department in Orlando, Florida, and Imana Carrazzo, Supervisor of Client Experience at Flight Safety International in Dallas. Trump appoints Chris Rochelleau acting FAA head. President Trump announced the appointment of FAA Deputy Administrator Christopher Rochelleau to acting administrator following the mid-air collision between an American Eagle passenger flight and a U.S. Army Black Hawk helicopter. Rochelleau is a 22-year veteran of the agency during two separate stints beginning in 1996. In 2002, he left to be a senior policy advisor for the TSA for three years and then returned to the FAA until 2022 when he left to become the COO for the NBAA. That's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Textron sells first foreign military multi-engine trainers. Textron Aviation announced its first international sale of seven of its Beechcraft King Air 260 military multi-engine training aircraft to Skyline and KF Aerospace to support the future aircrew training program for the Royal Canadian Air Force. Deliveries are expected to begin in the first half of 2028. The FACT program was awarded to Skyline, the joint venture company formed by KF Aerospace and CAE. The new King Air 260s are intended to replace the King Air 90B aircraft that the RCAF has used for decades. Textron's King Air production line in Wichita, Kansas will build and deliver the King Air 260 trainers in the fully compliant FACT mission-ready configuration. FACT-specific capabilities include night vision goggle compatible cockpit, TACAN, angle of attack, engine trend monitoring, condition-based maintenance, observer slash jump seat, passenger mission seats, and full face oxygen masks. Kevin Lemke, Skyline senior executive, said, quote, Skyline is excited to be incorporating the Beechcraft King Air 260 into the FACT program. It's a next generation aircraft built on a platform with a proven track record of reliability and performance. At Skyline, we are committed to delivering a world-leading training program to the RCAF, and I thank the teams at Textron Aviation and KF Aerospace for their support, end quote. After these messages, Sporties acquires pilot workshops. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Sporties acquires pilot workshops. Sporties announced it has acquired pilot workshops. The acquisition brings together two organizations with the shared mission of making flying safer, easier, and more enjoyable for pilots everywhere. Sporties has been a leader in aviation education since its founding by engineer and flight instructor Hal Shevers in 1961. The company offers flight training, including ground school training courses for all certificates and ratings, as well as actual flight training through Sporties Academy Flight Training Center out of Claremont County Airport in Batavia, Ohio. Pilot Workshops provides online training courses and manuals that offer practical scenario-based lessons for GA pilots through its innovative VFR and IFR Mastery Series that help pilots achieve and maintain a high standard of safety and proficiency. Their award-winning instructors and training programs have been used and trusted by more than 200,000 pilots. Mark Robodeau, founder of Pilot Workshops, said, quote, Pilot Workshops was founded with the goal of helping pilots improve their skills and confidence. By teaming up with Sporties, we're taking that mission to the next level, end quote. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching. 